Hi, my name is Mary Greenwell and I'm here with Get The Gloss and I'm going to show you how to do makeup on a redhead. Redheads are really fashionable at the moment and they're everywhere. So, but sometimes you need help choosing the right colours, so that's what I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to put my glasses on guys, but I have to because I was I'm blind as a bat. I'm starting with the skincare and I'm going to use the Hydra Beauty Micro Serum, which is a very light gel. And I'm going to use this all over Ellen's face and then down her neck. Don't forget that the neck is very important. Your skincare does not stop at your jawline. It goes down your neck and onto your décolleté. Around the eyes. You always rub moisturizers on around this way because if you put it this way, you're creating more of a wrinkle. So this way, round and round. Okay, I'm gonna leave it slightly wet. I love that. Now I'm going to use the eye gel. It's of the same line, the Hydra Beauty. I'm putting this directly under the eye, very gently, patting it under the eye, and then on top of the eyelid. So now I'm going to use the lip balm, which is fabulous, and I'm just going to put this on the mouth. I use this every night myself, just a little bit. This will be treating Ella's lips while I'm doing her foundation and her makeup. Just a little bit like that. There we go. There's a new CC cream, which is amazing. Okay, it is SPF 50, love. And also, it's absolutely the palest product you can ever get, which of course, on Ella's skin, is essential. So I'm gonna show you. Look at the color of it, it's divine. You can see, look, look, it just blends right in. And you know what? Um, this, for me, is Chanel's new hero product. It's amazing, it's so pale and gorgeous. Don't worry if you think this, that it is slightly paler, the face is slightly paler than the neck. That will all be blended in when I continue doing the makeup, so please don't worry about that. But it's important that the face should be a little bit paler. So I'm just going to massage this in. Tap it in, massage it in. You can see what fabulous coverage it is. Even though it's a CC cream, which is meant to have quite light coverage and does have quite light coverage, this is such a great product that it's actually working absolutely perfectly. And then into the hairline, up here, rubbing it well into the forehead. Take your time putting on foundation. It is the most important part of your makeup. If your foundation is good, everything will look good. Foundation is done. I'm now going to move on to the concealer, which is number 10 in the correcting concealer. Right, so this I'm going to put generously underneath the eye. One. Don't be frightened. It's going to be blended in. Two. Right, now I'm going to knock this in. Bring it down onto the nose area. This is really important. Just make sure it's really massaged and patted into the skin so it becomes part of your skin. I'm going to take this very beautiful gentle palette by Chanel. It is number it is number 226 Tisse Rivoli. It's actually my favorite. It's beyond beautiful. Look at those colors. I'm working so well with with her, with Ella's hair. I'm going to, I'm, I've just discarded the little pieces inside the little working equipment since I'm going to use a real brush from Chanel, which is actually called a concealer brush, but I use it as a shadow brush. Taking the palest colour, I'm going to use this under the brow just here. So that's already highlighted the brow a little bit, do you see? Other side, so just under the brow, hitting back the brow there, just there we go. Done. So this is the next one. I'm going to use this all over the eyelid and into the socket of the eye. Close my darling. So I'm just going to start using this also. As you can see, this palette has a, look, a little bit of auburn in it, which is so pretty with her colouring. This is almost like her natural colouring, in fact. So what I'm doing is I'm working with Ella's natural colouring and making it, and bringing it out, enhancing her beauty. Okay, back and forth. Doing the same on the other side. So, so now we're moving on to the third colour of the palette, which is this one. And this I'm going to put in the socket of the eye, which will sort of expand the eye even more and bring out the shape of the eye even more. Okay, I'm 
I'm going to move on to the other side, same colour. Okay, sweetie. I'm also going to take it, I'm going to take the colour, this colour, the third colour, up into the brow just here to shape the brow. Do you see how that has really shaped the eye? Okay, now I'm going to do the same the other side. The fourth colour in the palette, which is this one. This is the darkest one. I'm going to use this directly around her eye to give the eye a real kind of smoky, soft smoky. These colours are really made perfectly for an auburn hair because they are actually auburn colours, as you can see. But this last one has lot, quite a lot of grey in it, so it was really for definition as well. This is more for about the popping colour, the colour that will give the eye the shape. I'm changing brushes. I'm now going to use a brush that's called Lip. Hey, never mind. It's called a lip brush. As far as I'm concerned, it's an eyeshadow brush and it's amazing. It's got a really good corner to it and works really, really well for eyeshadows. Now I'm going to take a pencil, which is called Erable. It's like a kind of lovely bronzy colour, which I'm going to use underneath the eye. Okay. This is just a really soft, beautiful pencil that I'm putting in the roots of the lashes and then maybe a little bit in the waterline, but not too much. Most importantly, it's in the roots of the lashes. So on the other side, Now I'm going to brush the brows again so I start to feel the shape of them, understand the shape of them, which is here. We have the brow, the brow pencil. Moving on now to the mascara, I'm going to um, use a brown mascara. Here we have two browns. I'm just going to see which brown I prefer to use color-wise. I love them both. So I'm, I'm, these, these two mascaras, I have both of them wonderful. This is Le Volume and this is a Sublime. Okay, so out of the two of them, it's, you know, brown mascaras can vary a lot because actually it's about the color of the brown. So I'm going to go with a Sublime because it's just that little bit more intense. I'm just going to work on the outside corner. Look that way, my darling. Great. Now, if I'd used black mascara at this point, for me, it would have been too hard a look. The other way. And it would have taken away the softness of this beautiful face and makeup. So make sure you get right into the bottom of the lashes. So now I'm going to work on Ella's face and I want to bring a bit of structure into it. So I'm going to use Le Beige, which these amazing powders by Chanel that we are all in love with. And I'm going to use number two, which for a lot of people would just be a regular powder colour. In other words, a setting powder. But for Ella, they're going to be more like a real contour powder. Taking the brush that is actually called a foundation or powder brush, so it's a foundation powder brush, so I'm going to use it actually for powder. It's just one of these brushes that's really good for blending, okay? I'm going to put this in here, twirl it around in here. Just take it. You can see how actually it's almost like a contour powder on her because her skin is so pale, look. Now, that has matched her face to her neck. Just that much powder, okay? No longer do we now have a slightly paler face to the neck. It is now blended. Great. I'm going to put a little bit on her chin here. Just on the jawline, just to bring it all together. I'm now going to use a blush to put a weeny bit of colour into the cheeks. And I'm using Dew Contrast, which is a, which is a powder blush, and the colour is Angelique. 
weeny bit, just, just here, just on the cheek. A little bit on the other side, and now I'm going to blend that in. So that's the blush done. Now, for me, it looks like there's a fraction a bit too much blush on her cheeks, but once we have the colour of the mouth on, it'll balance out. So even though some of you might be thinking, oh, she's kind of ruined the look with too much blush, don't worry, it'll all be fine in the end. So I'm using a lip liner. The, the lip liner I'm using is called Natural. It is by far the lip, best lip liner I know for a completely natural mouth. Look how beautiful this colour is working with her natural colouring. It's all this kind of slightly auburn, there's no, there's not a, there's not a pink tone, it's more of a natural tone. Lip colour, bang. It's number 402 and it's called Adrienne. And I'm going to go straight from the tube to the mouth. This lip colour is fantastic. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit it back with the tissue because I want it to look almost like the mouth is totally natural as if it hasn't got um, a lot of lipstick on it. Although often to achieve a good lipstick, you have to put on a lot to get to nothing, if that makes sense. So sometimes it's worth just putting quite a lot on and then just blotting it rather than putting on a little and saying that it's done, it's done. Better the other way around. Open, darling. Now, I'm looking at, her, at Ella's face and thinking that she is so beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to knock back the shine. We all love glow. We all love a certain amount of shine. But right now, for me, and I think for it to go out at night, there's a little bit too much through the, what is literally the T-zone. But mostly through here and the nose, yes? So I'm going to knock this back, but I'm not going to touch her cheeks at all. So it's translucent one powder, which means no colour used with the foundation brush. Look, you can see just that little bit. It's a great colour because it has absolutely no colour to it at all. Just knocking back that shine, which just isn't very pretty right there. Now there won't be any unattractive um, shadows when the light hits her face just by hitting those bits that I hit, hit with powder. Brush the brows through one more time just to make sure everything's good and the brows are brushed up from the powder. I think that's my finished look for beautiful Ella.